Mr. Booker, how are things at Zytec? Fine, Chief Mather. How was your flight from Langley? Oh, smooth. Let's do this. Public places make me nervous. Daylight makes you nervous. It's not every day that you hold in your hands something that could affect the balance of power on the planet. When do we get the next piece? As soon as Uncle Sam pays for this one. Right. Thank you, Mr. Booker.
I wouldn't come any closer. Oh, my noble adversary. Tis that, that dame circumstance. You know I can't let you have this. Pushes us to the very brink. <laughs> Ciao, Bella. Listen, I got your good client over at the Nuatani Hotel. They'll give you a destination when you're in the air. Well, hello to you too, Chauncey. Well, hello to you too, Carrie. Are you happy now? Listen, this guy is a real big spender. He got four hours guaranteed, maybe more. So it's VIP status all the way. One guard left. in my goat. So the DA says, but there's more to the story, isn't there, Farmer Brown? Of course. So Farmer Brown says, after I finished humping my goat, 
the goat turned around and licked my balls. At which point, the judge turned to Farmer Brown and said, hey, a good goat will do that. A, a good, oh, come on, Gordy, I had everybody rolling with that this morning. You know you're sad, man. You're really All sad. units in the vicinity of 1421 Balboa respond to a 411 in progress. That's right around the corner. Well, let's jump on it. This is Unit 12, Apple, we're in route. A prettier pilot than I'm accustomed to. So, did you have a problem with women pilots? When a world of men could not prevail with all the oratory, yet have a woman's kindness overruled. Henry the Fourth. Yeah, <laughs> I feel in good hands already. What's our destination today, sir? A high-rise condominium on Fourth and Grand Long Beach. Address, please. Why do you need that? I have to call it in, sir. It's regulation. 1416 Grand. So tired. Hey, I got another one for you. No, I don't want to hear it. Uh, it's about Please, a hitchhiker. Just go. You sure? Yeah. All right. Jimmy, check this out. What do you got? It's open. Oh, shit. Take the car and go around. Call for backup. Right. This way. The chip is right here. Yeah, okay. Wait for us. Thank <laughs> you. 
Mr. Fairfax, I'm so glad you could make it. A pleasure, Mr. Simpson, a pleasure. Would you like to partake in some of my delicacies? Pardonnez-moi, Monsieur the Schedule. The gentil, mon frère, uh, plus que ça. Rien. Another time, another place. Uh, perhaps, Mr. Simpson, but for now, uh, business is of the essence. Mm. Suit yourself. Don't say a fucking word without my attorney being present. If you don't, I'm gonna shove your teeth so far down your skinny little throat. You'll be shitting molars for a month. <laughs> you don't have the balls. Neither did that pussy partner of yours. Send you straight to hell! Gordo! <laughs> <laughs> Gordon! <sighs> Look, I know how you feel. Jimmy was a hell of a guy. Jimmy was more than a partner to me. He's like a brother. And I'll be damned if I'm gonna let that murdering little prick get away with it. You just stay calm. Do your job. Gordon. I'm sorry about Jimmy. It's a fucking shame. Yeah. Thanks. Listen, you hear anything from Interpol yet? Unless we can find somebody with Delta Four clearance. They're not gonna tell us shit. Delta Four? Yeah. I mean, the guy's gotta be a fucking Merce. Yep, probably work for the CIA at some time. How about the Zytex Corporation? You talked to them yet? Yeah. What they took was a silicon carbide instrument platform. Yo, well, what the fuck is that? I don't know. It's got something to do with satellite guidance or tracking or something like that. Evidently, it comes in four interlocking pieces. Look at this thing. But they only got one piece. Right. Without these other three pieces, it's useless. Thank you, Jimmy. You can go now. Two of my men died obtaining this. I should charge you a hundred extra grand. What a small price for infinite power, Mr. Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you see it my way. Simpson. What? You are all the way home. Welcome, my Fräulein. Good night, sweet prince. Uh. Let's go, I'm running late. So, how was your meeting? A smashing success. So what's our next destination? Scitex Corporation downtown.
call me in on a Saturday. I had a date with a beautiful blonde. Yeah, right. Dirty Harry. Babylon system. He no get Jimmy that. Babylon system. He no get Jimmy that. Babylon system. Dudley Durat of the Mounted Police. What's up then? <laughs> Derby. The name's Officer Dudley right to you. Don't move or I'll put a bullet up your ass so far you'll be pissing out your nose. Just wait till I get my badge. Morning, Ralph. Mike. Morning, Mr. Pollard. Getting in a little overtime? Nose to the grindstone, Ralph. Where are you going? 1600. I'll be in 1600. Mr. Drake's office? Yeah. I've got to install some new software in the old man's computer. <laughs> As we move down here in the final moment, talk to you later. Michael Horn, Paul Stern, left to right on CR in the Cable Ready Network on your radio dial. Been an incredible game, and J.R. Williams has been doing a great job, hasn't he, Paul? Yeah, this is right. I'm All going on my round. The sure, Dudley, down. copy that. J.R. Williams, he's up. UCLA, Syracuse 100. What an incredible effort by J.R. Williams. It's stupendous, Mike. I'm telling you, he has been hitting shot after shot this entire... Charlie to base. It's one rocket, Charlie. You copy? Do you copy? Is anyone out there? Is there a problem? Lost come. Our radio doesn't work. Sorry, but we'll have to land. Out of the question, I'm already late as it is. The building is closed. Just go there. We have permission to land. Wait here for us. We'll call into your dispatch. <laughs> CR in the Cable Ready Network on your radio dial. Been an incredible game, and J.R. Williams has been doing a great job, hasn't he, Paul? Williams looking very, very sharp, Mike. All right, back now, UCLA with the ball. They come down, hammer room. He's up, he's got it, he's in with another basket. 102, UCLA, Syracuse. Oh, shit. And it is just incredible the way he has been hitting it right now. Timeout called as UCLA now ahead. 102, Syracuse 100. Mr. Charlie Drake, um... Hi. Hi, um... Um... Do you mind if I use the phone? Sure, just, um, use the one out there. Thank you. And, uh, make it quick, I've got a lot of work to do. Thank you, sir. Oh, and, uh, could you close the door on your way out? Sure. The Garde. Anyone who is wearing their badge shows up in their position. Anyone not wearing a badge is supposed to come online with the Sensidor heat laser system. 
Yeah. Hello, Chauncey. Hey, Carrie. What's up? My goddamn antenna broke off. I don't know how, but it's gone. Shit. Listen, just stay put. First, I will take care of the phones. Hello, hello. 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 Next, we lock off the building. No one gets in or out without our permission. has just arrived. He's got the case, but both men are armed. You know, I don't trust these bastards, Ernie. I want you to cover me in the lab, okay? Yes, Mr. Francis. This is Mr. Cranston. How do you do, Mr. Cranston? Let's dispense with the fucking formalities. Where's Fairfax? Good to see you again. Comment allez-vous, monsieur? Ça va? Très bien. I'm delighted you decided to accept my propose. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, I thought if I was going to sell my soul to the devil, I might as well go straight to the devil himself. Thanks for the flattery, but uh, I'm nearly a man, and if you prick me, I do bleed. Oh, Jesus. You're still doing that Shakespeare crap. Can we get on with this? You have the other three pieces? Yes, I do. Good. The money is the root of all evil. You son of a bitch. Done, I can still see you. D'accord, my pot. He is on the elevator going up. And he 
just got off on the 20th floor. Jeez, who are you? I'm the helicopter pilot. What happened? I... I... There... Go! Okay, what is going on? They're gonna kill us for what's in this briefcase. Attention, attention, they are headed for the roof. You just take this and get out of here. Go on! Go! Go! <laughs> the end of life. Cancels all bands. Fuck you. Later, baby. Ciao. Oh, shit. Oh, shit.
Bodies on monitor seven. <laughs> Ralph? Ralph? Oh my god. Hello, mes amis. Your cleanup was pitiful. There are people all over this building. Now hurry up and round up the rest or we will never find that pilot. Here you go. Thanks. Be careful! Beep 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 beep! Roll around, come through! Beep 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 beep! <laughs> What the hell happened to you? Some people are trying to kill me. You stay here, and I will go get security. We have some activity on the elevator and... Ah, alors, alors, look, it is our friend, One Rocket Charlie. Come on, get in here yeah. quick. Hey, take it easy, babe. Got all afternoon. Shut up. Ooh, you like the uh, strong, silent type? Yeah, I can do that. Look, uh, why don't uh, you and I, we get a little more, uh, you know... Oh, I don't like those zippers. And she has a friend with her. Shut it down. What the hell's going on? I've stopped them on 23. <sighs> I... Look at me. We're gonna make it out, okay? Come on! Snap out of it! I can't breathe! <gasps> Go check around front. Okay. It's too hot for this BS. Oh, nasty fall. Nice watch. Yeah, hey, listen, that's not really my concern right now. Did you get any word on the hitters? Yeah, yeah, they were slick. Foreign, professional. Damn it. 
You know how to get to the roof? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Follow me. Let's go. Doesn't look like anybody's been up here. Well, let's check it out. Yeah, well, I'm calling in. Hey, Clancy, Gord, you get anything on that weasel yet? Jesus Christ, Gordon, where the fuck have you been? We have bad news, man. Somebody got to him. What does that mean, that somebody got to him? I mean, somebody waltzed into the station and iced him. He's been dead for two hours. Shit. Clancy, have you heard from Gordy? My man, if I was you, I'd get my ass down here. Captain's throwing a flying shit fit and he's looking for you. Hey, what's up? Look at this. Tell him I'm coming right in. All right, pal, you got it. Where'd you find this? Over here, man. Yeah, hey, hello, Gordon. Hey, Chauncey, it's Gordy. Hey, Gordy, how the hell are you? Has Carrie called in yet? Uh, she called from a phone booth, and she said that you had radio trouble, and uh, but then we got disconnected. I, I don't know. She just disappeared. What, what, what do you mean she just disappeared? Where was her last drop? I at Regency in Long Beach. I checked, but she's not there. No, listen. I'm up here at the Hyatt Regency. I'm up on the roof. There's a stiff down at the pool. Yeah, I got a bad feeling about this. Go to shoot. Safety right here. You don't shoot with your finger, just a tip. Check all the other floors. I want this bitch card right now. Take it easy. Shut up! This man has something he wants to tell you. You want the good looking blonde in the jumpsuit? Yes. I know where she is. I tell you, you let me go. Deal? Deal. Zarkov, Zarkov. You're slipping up, buddy. Freeze! Don't move! Cut it out! You're, uh, you're one of them, aren't you? Huh? Do I look like a killer to you? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, you could be. Give me that. Hey! You can't do that! You don't even have any bullets in here. It could go off! My insurance only pays half! I've got some activity next to this stairwell on 23. Need the Meyer, take care of it. We need a place to hide. Do you have a place to hide? Yeah, yeah, come on. In here, this way. In here. Give me the bullets. I think it's better if I back you up from here, okay?
Leader Mayo. There it is. That's a chopper. Okay, you circle around and head back. God, they've got hostages. We gotta do something. We can't just leave them there. Yeah, I know, but what? Oh, damn! What? They've got the emergency containment system on. Every exit's locked up tight. I'm gonna go look for a way out. I can't just stay here. All right, hey, be careful out there, huh? You too, Slugger. An intruder alert on the top floor in the stairwell. It couldn't be her. Mom is going to be fine. Come on. They're not here. Let's go. Yeah. All right. What's your name? Billy Ray Johnson. Well, Billy Ray, I'm going to go find your mommy, and I want you to stay right here, OK? No, don't leave me. I don't want to be here alone. <sighs> to the PA system. I don't have time. 
time for petty games. Every five minutes I will kill a hostage until you return the case to me. And by the way, I have enough for about one hour. Thank you. Look, I'm gonna find a safer floor for you to hide on, okay? Okay. Rocket Charlie? Yes. And I'll make you a deal. You release the hostages and I'll tell you where I've hidden the case. How do we know you won't lie? I'll tell you what. I'll turn myself in and that way you'll still have a hostage. Agreed. So, where are you? I'm where it's hot. We have got a fire on seven. Fairfax, you have an appointment with a pilot on the seventh floor. Dang! Hakeem, put out the fire in the west hall of a seven. If it isn't one rocket charge. Okay, I'm out of here. A deal's a deal, right? You little prick. You see, that's what's wrong with this society. Women mm. like that. Can you believe this shit? Mm. Technically, sir, you did not deliver. I found the woman. Wait, stop. I siphoned off hundreds of thousands of dollars. And I can cut you in on it. Uh, now he wants to make me his partner. <laughs> <laughs> or better yet, it's yours. A plague upon it when thieves cannot be true to one another. Now to you, Mrs. Wink. If you harbor any hope of staying alive, you tell me where the case is. Let the hostages go, and I'll tell you... You're hardly in the position to bargain, Mrs. Wink. This is a very big building. You could be looking for that briefcase for months. Natasha, would you be so kind and kill one of Mrs. Wink's? Precious hostages, please. No! With weight! 
Shall we go for another? No, I'll take you. The whole fire department has shown up. Potasha, roll up the red carpet. I swear it was here. Bullshit. Come on, man, let's just off this bitch. I don't have time for fucking games, baby. I swear it was here. Maybe it's on a different floor. You take her in there. She's yours to play with, and you come with me, sir. Okay. Yeah, my pleasure. You and I is gonna go play a little bit. Captain Woods here. Got a code three situation. Give me SWAT, paramedics, and a crowd control unit. Now. This is not good. Wait, 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 wait. Not good at all. Maybe we should abort Fairfax. Nobody gets out of the building until I have what we came for. Hello, my friend. Wayne Delusky, I designed the Simmons 588. The computer operating system that runs the building, I built it. All right, Wayne. What the hell do we get in there? May I? Oh dear, that's not good. What? I designed this high-rise to withstand civilian riots, paramilitary attacks, things like that. The developers? South Africans. We were pretty happy with it when it was finished, but then that's why they pay me the big money. All right, big money. How the hell do we get in there? Well, basically you're fu- We will throw another hostage to his death. The people's liberation will not be intimidated by bureaucratic arm twisting. So what I want to say, Captain, is don't fuck with me.
шелка, э? Ah, good. It's Interpol again. South Africa, Reese Commander. South Africa? What an irony. IQ 175, Oxford graduate, ex SAS, lead covert death squads in Angola, Bosnia, and Namibia. What the hell would that son of a bitch want here? Why'd they have to pick my building? I'm telling you, man, I didn't see no silver case. So why the fuck you don't look again? All right, all right, man. You didn't say no black case. Whoa! What's that, man? Hey, man, where, where you from? East side, man? Not really. Where from, man? From hell. Top to put ten. Zarkov, the cop is in the basement. Take care of him. Gordy! Oh, 
honey. Are you okay? Hey, I was looking for you. <laughs> I was looking for you. Listen, I gotta go check on the hostages. Hostages? Yeah, hostages. Ah. Hey. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> what are you doing here? I thought we were going to meet up on the roof. The plan has changed. I know. The fucking bitches fucked up everything. Actually, she has made things much simpler. <laughs> Alas, poor Shark. I knew you well. Parting is such sweet sorrow. Does anyone know how to disable the computer system? I do. I can help too. Come with me. Oh my god. Don't worry, he's one of them. <laughs> oh my god, there, there, there's a kid loose in the building. I'll go get him. Wink, come back! It's crazy. System five. Come on, come on. Are you having fun? to the roof. Uh. I don't want to go. Shut up. I want my mommy. Wink. So very nice you could join us. We're ready for departure now. Get in. Please. <laughs> Get in. Get in the chopper, no. now! Nazi, let the boy go. Let her go! Gordy, wait! We can all live through this! I have a very nervous trigger finger and very little patience. Look, I'll make a deal with you. You let the boy go over to Gordy, and I'll take you anywhere you want to go. I don't even like children. I'd rather play with you. <laughs> go to Gordy. Come here. 
There was never a story of more woe than this of Juliet and Romeo! This is Judy Lang, KDCC News. I'm standing here live in front of the Zytex building, where just a short hour ago, hostages were released in what appears to be a terrorist takeover. We are still waiting for details on casualties. Can you watch it over there and get that strap? Are you okay? Excuse me, ma'am. Can I get a call? Oh, just sit here. There you go. Got it. See? I told you everything would be okay, didn't I? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. See? Give me a kiss. Mm -hmm. Look who I see. Got a surprise for you. CD! <laughs> Look at that. Look who's in there. Your mom is waiting. Let's go in. Hey, Gordy, you're lucky your wife was there to take care of you. Oh, well, thank you, Captain. And he thinks I can't have a baby? Thank you. I kiss. <laughs> hey, hey. Okay, okay. Enough of this. Now, both of you get inside. Now, come on. Come on. One of you guys give me a hand here. Step. 